Welcome back to the studio. This is Adriana. I spent some time this morning putting together a new mix for my paints. So far I have been working with Floetrol mixed with paint and a little bit of water. Um, still working with the same artist grade uh, paints. Liquitex and Golden primarily. I can uh, I can tell you the exact colors I mixed um, and what I'm doing now is I am testing I am testing for the first time a mix of Floetrol with Liquitex pouring medium and just a little bit of water in the base color now this is interest it was interesting for me to think of this because working with Floetrol versus working with a Liquitex pouring medium, I noticed to be extremely different. The Floetrol, a painting even of this size, 10 by 10, uh, would take about overnight to dry. Whereas with Liquitex, I noticed that uh, paint dries way much faster. So it, a painting uh, of the 10 by 10 size could be dry in probably four or five hours, which is a huge uh, reduction in time. And the reason this is important is because I was trying to figure out the mistake I made the first time I mixed the two mediums, but not the way I did it today. So I will show you uh, my first experience experience with the Liquitex, uh, Liquitex pouring medium. This is a painting that has the base, the white base, um, mixed uh, as a mix between Liquitex pouring medium and golden paint, golden white paint, titanium white. Now I was just so excited to start using the new medium which has a gloss finish that I love that I didn't, I didn't um, think to mix also the paints of colors with the same medium when I first try it. And because I didn't do that, and because of what I just mentioned, the drying time difference, um, I'll bring this up closer for you to see, I ended up with an absolutely incredible amount of crazing. So the Liquitex uh, mix base was drying so fast, driving everything else to crack on top of it and around it. So that was, that was a huge, huge disappointment as I was doing this painting. Um, and I didn't completely understand it um, until I, I didn't completely understand the pouring medium until I started working with it some more. And um, the next thing I did was using Liquitex pouring medium alone. So paint, one, one um, part paint and about 10, 12 parts of pouring medium and just a little bit of water. Um, a small painting test uh, showed me that this is just beautiful in finish and also showed me that um, using oil as I did before to just create the cell formations would give me uh, and I'm not sure you can see in here because this is so so glossy but it, it gave me certain areas where the oil separated so so profoundly the paint that it wasn't just a top layer of the paint it was all of it going all the way down to the canvas so that was uh, that was unpleasant to notice now also the liquitex pouring medium does not give me cells it does not give me these um, uh, pops of of, of color opening um, so so I've decided to give 
the mix of Floetrol and Liquitex inside the paint to try. So this time it's not just Floetrol, it's not just pouring uh, medium, the Liquitex pouring medium, but it's a combination of both. And the way I did it was I mixed half and half Liquitex and Floetrol in a large quart container and then I mixed this mix of medium with paint and absolutely no water. For best results in mixing, uh, I've noticed uh, that working with soft body paints is, is optimal. The reason why heavy body paints are not that great is because of the, the difference in viscosity. So it makes it a whole lot more difficult to mix the paints with um, such different viscosity. Um, and you risk having more blobs of paint that hasn't really mixed and, and dissolved. So I'm really excited and curious. I've mixed white, um, my one of my favorite blues, the ultramarine. Uh, mixed a yellow, a red, a, and a gold, and um, deep turquoise. So the reason I, I mix these colors is because I'm using um, different brands of paint and different textures. So I wanted to observe how they will be behaving. Now the next thing I am I am seeking to learn from this experiment is how the paint moves when I bring in the hair dryer because it's a huge difference in behavior between Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium and I am very very excited and very nervous at the same time to notice that uh, hopefully it will move the way I want it to move. So enough talking, let's get to work. I am just getting a pair of gloves because another thing I noticed when using the Liquitex pouring medium, uh, you want to always use gloves. Um, I had just touched up the sides without gloves the first time and it just gave me a, an unpleasant it, first of all it was very difficult to remove and second of all it was um, just I, it was a burning sensation I could feel almost um, for a little while after so here we go so the the canvas is a deep edge um, inch and a half canvas um, gessoed so I am gonna just pour the base I also am observing uh, I am observing how it's behaving in relationship to leveling which leveling I should have done before starting the video um, Okay, so we'll go without the leveling. So I am stretching this paint just to just to cover. I'm stretching the white base just to cover. And I will be using a spatula. Uh, when using the spatula, I'm trying not to not to scrape. Not to scrape because scraping means I'm, I got to the canvas, so I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I go uh, go over the edges too uh, once to just create a little bit of coverage. Um, what I loved about the Liquitex pouring medium, um, uh, even more than the Floetrol, it has 
incredible self-leveling properties. Um, so a whole lot easier to to spread the paint uniformly and and for it to dry uniformly even if you uh you know miss a beat in the level um, the paint is helpful so usually with fluid acrylics this is the part that takes the longest or you should spend the longest on uh, making sure that you have a good good base coverage and that because that will that will dictate how the rest is happening so it looks like um, I think I put about I don't know maybe four ounces of paint down for the for the base for the background and it's looking good the way it's dripping it seems to be um, somewhere in between the, the way Floatrol behaves and Liquitex behaves. So now I'm just um, just trying to see how this this will work with the colors. to bring one more tool that I just recently started using better and that is a, that is a blowtorch okay so the blowtorch will help in taking care of any air bubbles that might have formed okay so next I will layer the paints and um, I want to see I want to see how they move with the hair dryer so I'm gonna make this line I'm gonna make this um, the touch pour let's do here I'm gonna subconsciously I guess I, I picked the colors of the Romanian flag I'm Romanian and I did the first painting with only the red, yellow, and blue, which are the colors of the flag, uh, sometime in December last year. And I really loved it. It came out beautiful. And so I'm doing this test in the same way. Now you might have noticed as this poured that this was the heavy body uh, paint and it's just a little bit thicker than, than the rest. So we'll see how, how it moves. Next I'm going to add, wow, this is really, really fluid. I'm going to add another blue and I will add a little bit of this gold. Just randomly. Okay. So the first test I will do, I need to see how it moves when I use, when I just blow with my mouth. Then I want to test it with a straw and I want to test it with a hair dryer. So I'm going to try this first. I'm going to make sure I don't get my hair in there. Oh, already I'm loving this. It's already moving as beautiful as uh, as Floatrol. So hair dryer goes next. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I am thrilled to be doing this test. The colors are mixing in just a magical way. There are fantastic cells forming everywhere. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unreal. Wow. Wow. 
wow, this is this is fantastic. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, wow. Now I will continue testing because if this this is how beautiful this works. Let me see how the dip works as well. A swipe, not a dip. So the paints I'm noticing are mixing a little bit more in there, which is fine. Which is fine. I want to see another thing. Sometimes I layer additional paint into the canvas. how it moves when I use the straw. This is beautiful. I like how quickly it closes in when I do this. Um, I do like sometimes uh, softer lines. And I've noticed that my little mixes aren't always helpful. Wow, this is gorgeous. I am absolutely stunned and probably addicted. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna bring another red line here. And I think that will be it for this painting. so so pleased with this so pleased i think next what i would try to do any sense even though there's only water in the base there's only water in the base and it's a little bit maybe a tablespoon of water in this whole in this whole cup it is fantastic I will Wow. I can see some of the red is getting uh, getting covered by the 
or it's sinking inside the base, inside the white base. I love the shimmer from the gold and just there's a rainbow happening in here. And looking at the edge, you can see it much easier to fix the edge. I'm very curious how, how this will look all the way at the end when it's dry. So here it is. Finished. Still wet. the focus stays this is the area I was telling you about it's absolutely magical absolutely magical I am very excited I look forward to seeing it dry I'll show it when when it's done <laughs>